brings back a lot of happy memories of the time when we uh, gained our independence. It was a time of anticipation, but then we were all not, also not sure what would be happening, what would the future hold. Nobody was prepared for independence, and nobody among us had been through it before, so we couldn't rely on anybody to tell us this, that or the other. I was 18 then, and we were at the zenith of our youth. Thinking back then, at a very young age then, and looking towards the future, there were so many hopes that we have for the country. We were very proud of ourselves on that day, and full of great expectations. And we assumed that everybody would be good people, do the right thing, you know, we were all very idealistic. So I was one of the protocol officers uh, that was picked, and there were eight of us. I was closely involved during the uh, independence uh, celebrations. I was among many of the people who were chosen to be ADCs or ADECOMs during the independence celebrations. We were responsible for the international guests, so we were privileged to be a part of that. And, and the whole uh, mood of the occasion of that day was festivity and celebrations and and, 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 and joy. Our dress was the uh, colors of the Solomon flag. And it was quite an exciting thing to be uh, wearing the Solomon flag on that day. This is a, f a photo of our trainer, Colonel Hefford, who came specifically from uh, England to train uh, protocol officers. And that was uh, myself in my lounge uh, suit. It was the first time I, uh, I wore a suit, actually, and, and shoes too. I was, I was nice and slim in those days. Now I've, I've got a bit of a uh, belly, so. <laughs> Yesterday's formal granting of independence by Britain was a beautifully stage-managed affair in front of several thousand spectators. The Duke of Gloucester, representing the Queen, was greeted by the native-born Governor-General, Mr. Badley de Vasey, and the Prime Minister, Mr. Peter Kenilaria. Today, one fella big day, Hemi come now. Country belong you fella, Hemi grow up. I think it was a good speech and uh, I think uh, having it in Pigeon is a, is a trend. I realize uh, every time uh, a representative of the British monarch uh, visits Solomon Islands, they would use a Pigeon uh, in their speeches, so that was good. Although his pronunciation was a, a bit funny, we were happy that he was able to speak in Pigeon. It's sort of like a connection between us. Yeah, so it's something that we, uh, we, we appreciate. And Queen.